He's not responsible for all the violence sweeping across Haiti's capital, but be under no doubt, he's at the centre of it. His fighters are never far away. Is this now all your territory? Because it, it was an open road when I was last here. Yeah. Jimmy Chirizia, universally referred to here as Barbecue, is the head of one of the most powerful gangs in Port-au-Prince. But he's also the head of a gang consortium that's brought Haiti to its knees. He took us through the roadblocks of buses they've put in place to stop police raids on his territory. That territory now extends over one of the city's main roads, an economic highway he controls in its entirety. Barbecue sees himself as a revolutionary for the people, and he rails against corrupt politicians and oligarchs. He dismisses all the efforts underway here to form a transitional council that will govern Haiti. But for the first time, he's told Sky News he would consider a ceasefire and talks if his people are represented. This is significant. We are in dialogue. We are in dialogue. We are always in dialogue. But the group of people who are in the class politique, they are not in the dialogue. The reason is because they are not in the heart of the people who are in the heart. The class politique is in the heart of the exclusion. The people who are in the heart of the people who are in the heart. Mais son façon pour renouveler le système là, j'en lis parce que le système là il vient en boucle et et quand qui gagne entre mon riche à mon pauvre en Haïti en litrop dans le monde entier gagne quand entre mon riche à mon pauvre mais j'en fait en Haïti à les indécents en nous près toute solution depuis ces Haïtiens qui sont tablant nous même nous près pour nous chita parler avec tout le monde parce que ça qui passe dans le pays là nous pas fier Inside his territory, despite the poverty, life is relatively peaceful and organised. Unlike in much of Port-au-Prince, queues for food barbecue gets brought in are orderly. Usually it's chaos. But here people wait, knowing that there are enough supplies for the whole community. And this is a source of barbecue strength. To the outside world, he may be a gangster, but here he's a sort of Robin Hood. Well, we're right in the heart of Barbecue's gangland territory, and I have to say the atmosphere here is very different to large parts of the rest of Port-au-Prince. It's much more chilled, much more relaxed. There's aid distribution, it's not chaotic. What the sense you get from this is that people feel safe inside here. The battlefield is outside the barricades, which is over there. Here, this is much more like a normal town, if you like. The road barbecue now controls is all but deserted. The signs of battle, the burnt out cars and the deserted buildings are the visual signs of uprooted families who have been forced to flee in their tens of thousands. He says he's trying to rein the more violent gangs in. He says they need to change their ways or risk losing this revolution. But is it a revolution or just gangland violence? It's almost impossible to know. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Port-au-Prince.